Hi, my name is Julie McCullough, and I have chosen to do my speech today on guitar. Uh, right now, guitar means a lot to me um, because my husband has been living and working in Qatar for the last few months. Uh, I wanted to learn a lot about it so that I could present it to you in my speech today. Um, Qatar is located in Western Asia, which is bordered by Saudi Arabia and the Persian Gulf. This is a very small state. Uh, their language is Arabic and their capital is Doha, which is a very beautiful city. They have some of the most beautiful architecture that I've ever seen. Uh, it is also their biggest city. Um, their government system is an absolute monarchy, meaning that they're ruled by uh, prime minister, a prince, princesses, cool stuff like that, which I always always find fun and interesting. Uh, they have been ruled by the same family since 1825. The Thani family, I don't know if I said that correctly, but it's T-H-A-N-I. And uh, it's a family dynasty that has been uh, taking care of Qatar for a very long time. Um, in September 3rd, there was a huge event. Uh, 1971, to be exact, Qatar officially gained independence from British Empire and became an independent state. Um, after gaining this independence, Qatar went from being one of the poorest uh, states in the Gulf to one of the wealthiest. Uh, this country state is rich in oil and gas and um, in 1992 Qatar created military ties with the United States they now house uh, Al Ayyudid Air Force Base. That is where my husband is. Um, they have many foreign nationals that come and work there, and civilian workers. And actually, their population, Qataris, is less than their foreign workers. Um, and then I have some uh, fun facts that I found pretty interesting. Whenever I've thought about traveling outside of the United States, I worry that I would drive on the wrong side of the road. And so, if I ever get to visit Qatar, I found that they drive on the right side of the road. So I would fit in nicely and I wouldn't have to worry about which side I'm supposed to be on. Also, uh, they use Riel for money and I think their money is so neat looking. And uh, this is actually um, a $10 This is actually 10 real, and it is worth $2.67 in the United States. And this is 1 real, which is only worth 27 cents in the United States. And I just think that it's different and neat looking. Um, this is uh, an island. I took a picture and printed it off. You can kind of see how the water surrounds most of the country there. Um, there's this really neat building here. And I've got a bigger picture of it. And I just think that it's just built so differently than anything I've ever seen before. And I just love it. So... Then I was also excited to find that they have regular fast food places over there, like what we would have. Uh, this is actually a Subway and a Krispy Kreme. And um, if you don't want to learn to speak Arabic, you'd be happy to know that most all of their signs are in English and Arabic. And that is about all that I was able to find out. But I think that it would be a beautiful country, very interesting to go and see it. And... Uh, I can't wait for my husband to get home, and I hope he is proud of me for doing this about guitar. Thank you.